Welcome to Go Watch a Movie, episode 60. I'm Kelvin. And I'm Robert. Welcome uh, to the conversation. Welcome back to the conversation. Um, We are today discussing The Girl and the Spider's Web, um, a continuation of the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. Um, But before we get to that, we're going to get into a little bit of entertainment news. Um, so more news or more, yeah, I guess more news for Disney plus, which now has a name. The streaming service for Disney is Disney plus not the most creative, but Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, it is what it is. What else you going to call it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Disney in your face. (laughs) Disney (laughs) pow! (laughs) (laughs) Make it more business with that one. (laughs) The Disney plus. (laughs) Disney pow! (laughs) Everybody subscribe. <laughs> Disney Power, what? I'm getting in that. Yeah, click, click. How many, how many years can I buy in advance? Um, so, they, of course, already announced the Mandalorian, their first flagship Star Wars series. Um, they have now announced that there's going to be a Rogue One prequel series starring Cassian and K2SO. Are you down for that, sir? Nah. Because you know the ending? Because that's how I feel. I feel it just with Star Wars, I don't know if prequels are really a good idea anymore. Because I wasn't overly satisfied with the prequels that we got. I was, I guess, I don't, I didn't hurt it. I think Rogue One was most okay, well it. executed. But that one, that one was ridiculously good. Yet at the same time, you knew what was coming, so yeah. it doesn't. There's something that you're missing when you watch a movie when you already know what the ending is going to be. And you would have thought they. Which it seemed like they learned a lesson with with uh, Solo. No. Uh, apparently, you know, but I mean, like I said, they're, they're starting a new streaming service, so content is the name of the game. So, you know, of course, people are going to flock to... There's such a thing as overload, though. There is. It's like when you hear that that song you really like that's popular for a while, you keep hearing it over and over and over and over right again. Right now, it's Rubber fact, Bad yeah. Man for me. <laughs> and you, <laughs> just, you just get sick of it. Rubber Bad Man. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I, I, I understand that. Do you, do you think that that's a possibility with Star Wars? I think it's possible they could kill it. I mean, I hear a lot of people are like, just in everyday life, it's like, man, I'm almost, are you are you excited for the new movie? And they're like, not really, because I'm just like overwhelmed with it. Yeah, I'm still excited. I want to see what's going to happen with the new ones, but uh, yeah, prequels, that's, that's my, my thing. Yeah. Prequels, not so much. Um, I, I have been hearing those rumblings as well. Um, I do, in fact, actually, <clears throat> for the statement, I. Ignore my previous statement. I am excited for all things Star Wars and would love to be a part of one in the future. <laughs> <laughs> um, that'll bring us to the next uh, topic here. I don't know if you care about this, but I was a little bit excited. I don't know if you knew about this. There was going to be an ALF reboot. I, do you remember ALF? I, yeah, I do remember Ralph. I, Alf. Were you a fan? I did watch it. Mm-hmm. I don't remember if I was a fan. I mean, I was a I was younger, so I was like... He's one of the shows that stuck with me in my psyche, my young psyche, because I was younger as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I really enjoyed it. Really, that was Mork and Mindy for me. Mork and I was, Mindy, I was terrified at the end Nanny of that Nanny. when he shrank into nothingness. And it just scared the wait, crap wait, out. Wait, 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 <laughs> What? <laughs> it's just like, just, yeah. It that, just, so, in the end of Mork and Mindy? Something, something like that happens. I was young. I don't remember it clearly, but I remember I was terrified. I didn't want to watch it anymore. So he wasn't just a crazy person? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I need to rewatch Mork and Mindy now. I'm going to look this up now to see if my memories of being terrified. He shrank into nothingness. There was something fun. where he, somebody shrank into nothingness. And I think it was him. Wow. I could be wrong. Nanu, Nanu. I wasn't doing any drugs at the time because I was a kid. Nanu, <laughs> like nan, Nano, Nanobite. Maybe he's just he's saying the whole time. He's trying I don't to convey know. that. Just weird. Nano, Nano. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shrinking. <laughs> it was just weird. And I remember being terrified by, by something that happens at the end of it. So Jeez. that's what I, that's what my memory says. But maybe it didn't happen that way. I don't know. I've, I've just ate cats. Now, now we got to look it up to find out. <laughs> now we got to look it up to find out if my memory is correct. Yeah. Jeez, man. Just, that was a long time ago. But I mean, I, I I watched it, that here and there, and I wasn't like a diehard fan of that one, but it, was, it creeped me out. For I some love reason. Robin Williams, so I'm gonna, man, it creeped me out. 
But yeah, apparently that <laughs> reboot is not happening. Um, okay. I guess they canceled it. I don't. I don't know. You think there was really an audience of people who were out there just like, oh man, I hope Elf comes back. No, it's like Harry and the Hendersons. Yeah, no, not <laughs> no. <laughs> I think that's why. Like, like those those people who remember that show are. Us and then the dying out people. <laughs> as, as the dying as, out people. Is that what anybody <laughs> over our age is dying out? As weird as that sounds. <laughs> what the, this generation is known as the dying out generation. <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> um, and speaking of dying out, not going to go into this laughing because it's serious. Oh. The voice of Hal, Hal died. I'm sorry, Dave. Uh, from 2001 A Space Odyssey mm-hmm. he passed away here recently um, so that was a great was, movie wasn't it it was Isn't that, yeah, it was um, it is shouldn't yeah, say it was it, is, it still yeah, exists it is, we can watch anytime we want right um, but yeah it, it is so rest in peace to him um, that'll bring us to trailers mm-hmm. Um, you want to go first with me, sir? I'll go this time. All right. You stole mine last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go this time. I saw this one. It almost made me feel like they were trying to do another one of these. They're not going to tell you to the end that it's based on Cloverfield or something, but I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's not, but it just felt like it. It's called Captive State. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird. It's just like, at first I thought it was like this political film or something like that. That was supposed to be based upon good old John Goodman. stuff. Yeah. Stuff that's going on now. And uh, you know, the good old US of a, and they're like, you know, don't believe anything they tell you. It's a lie. And then they show this weird hovering rock that looks like it's got a hive in it or something. It's weird. It could be a spaceship or something. It's just strange. And then it, it's so it it's almost, clearly it almost reminds me of like a, a, a they live. Yeah. Yeah. Very much like that. So it's super fantasy based. So I'm like very sci fi. I'm like all in on this one. I think this one's going to be good. And, and like the, they're like building a rebellion. It mm-hmm. like. I think this this one looks like it's it's going to do well. I don't think it's going to be like like Terminator or something. No, 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 yeah. It's not going to be on that level. But for people who like those those smaller sci fi films that are super smart, I think this one's going to reward those people. What was he saying? Like the Phoenix is rising or something mm-hmm. like that? Um, yeah. Well, mine <laughs> uh, for this one is going to be one that I saw. And the only reason that I, I kind of like got hooked on it is because while it was starting up, it said from the people who brought you Spring Breakers, which is was a surprise, good, great movie for me. Like mm-hmm. I went into it not expecting much. I don't know mm-hmm. if that makes sense. But The Beach Bum. And this one is Beach Bum, like homeless person. This one's starring Matthew McConaughey. Um, and he's just this guy who lives on a beach and pretty much does whatever he wants. Just living life, that whole all right, all right, all right mentality, all right. it seems. Um, and it just looks interesting. And, and if it is from those same people who brought you that, it kind of seems like with with them, because that movie went a direction that I did not see coming. No, <laughs> so I'm assuming that. this one will have that same effect. Uh, but yeah, check out that trailer, The Beach Bomb with Matthew, Matthew McConaughey. Um, but that'll bring us to... The girl in the spider's web. So before we get into this, I have to go back to the uh, first American version of the girl with the dragon tattoo. Okay. Because that was probably one of my, in my top five of favorite trailers of all time. Mm -hmm. It had the perfect music, the perfect... um, Mystery, intrigue, just suck you in. Right. Um, everything, all of that was perfect. Now we get to here, and this is a continuation, uh-huh. not a reboot, right? No, not a reboot. Continuation. She, we've seen that adventure. Now she's out being Batman. Okay, yeah. <laughs> because that's what I got from this film. She was fucking Batwoman, I should say. Um, and this is the girl in the spider's web, 2018 drama, Claire Foy, uh, Lincoln Stanfield, 
who was brewing in Atlanta. Uh, early takes on this one, Robert. Well, I guess this is getting the synopsis. Uh, if you've seen The Girl or know anything, read the books, uh, seen the Swedish films, which I still have not. That you have, right? Yep. Um, seen the original, the, the American remake of The Girl and the Girl with the Dragon's Tattoo. She is a vigilante. Right word. Um, I think she start. Well, she starts out basically just like a hacker. Yeah. I mean, she's got a little vigilante is a her, but because she goes out and and gets and she takes just, out people who she, are hurting other women. She, Eventually, but she, I think she, at first she's just struggling just with her past and drugs yes. and and everything else in life and yes. her abilities, her ability, and then yeah, from there then she starts to uh, yeah. Because she's extremely good at what she does. She has a photographic memory. Photographic memory takes no bullshit. Uh, can hack like hell. Um, I gotta tell you, watching this movie, Robert. Time for confessions with Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this music. music. Do, 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 yeah, do, do, do. Exactly. I have a type. Your, your type is girls with dragon tattoos. With tattoos, got the hair. Okay. I was sitting there like, because I, I really like. I, I don't think I should have been in the girl with the dragon tattoo movie, the original one, the uh, original American one. Like I was like. Why do I find her oddly attractive? Like mm-hmm. she's this skinny little girl with tattoos who's dark. Probably would punch me in the face rather than say hello. Right. But like I felt myself like, hey. <laughs> hey. How you doing? <laughs> and then the same thing when I'm watching this one. I was like, why is she oddly attractive? I, I like the original girl better. Um, and, and that's not taking away from, from her, from Claire, because she did a fantastic job. Uh, amazing job. Uh, but yeah, I was like, "Hey, how you doing?" Hey, yeah, I, okay. You, <laughs> which has nothing to do with the movie. I apologize. That was just uh, <laughs> uh, me going off on a tangent. Inter- interesting confession, but yeah. Well, sometimes you got to get real, Robert. <laughs> there may be a girl out there with a dragon tattoo looking for me. There could be. You know. Hopefully, she's not hacking you right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> Don't hack the podcast. She's probably watching you through your uh, your camera there it's and your laptop. Happens. <laughs> Like, is it me you're looking for? That's what you said. I was like, fuck you, just appears on my screen. Uh, but, so, I gotta tell you. Yes. Beautifully shot film. Very visually appreciated. Uh, the critics were not too happy. Okay. They were saying... I read things like um, they took something that was normally so rich in story and just turned it into an action mess. Uh-huh. Um, I got to disagree. I think the story was still here. Okay. Um, so we join her as she uh, is knee deep in her quote unquote vigilantism. Uh, she's on one of her missions of being the avenging angel, taking out a guy who is beating his wife. Um, she hacks him as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he gets a double whammy. She also has footage of him, uh, like with some, one of his clients went wives or uh-huh, something like that. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so she's just good at very good at what her job at her job, uh, what she does. Cause it's not a job. She gets paid from it. <laughs> uh, but then she gets contacted to find a specific tool that can nuke the world from one laptop. Right. And the hilarity ensues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you think about this one, sir? I gotta. I can, I'm gonna almost disagree with you. I think. Uh-oh. I think this was. You agree with critics? Was not completely. It was decent, but this is. I have a problem with every movie that came after the girl with the dragon tattoo. The American one. Uh, the Swedish version. Oh, because I've I seen all. Seen. I've seen. I've watched all these, and I read the first book, and since the very first one. That's the best one. Everything after that 
has gone off on this weird tangent. The thing that was so amazing for me about the first one was that there was a mystery that needed solving. And these two people with unique abilities, one a journalist, you know, one with a photographic memory, got together, strangely enough, and solved this this mystery. And and both characters were even interesting enough. There was enough. I think one was having problems with drugs and life, and the other one was struggling with his his writing and newspaper, his home life, his or magazine. I'm sorry, and home life, and you know, infidelity. And they shouldn't like each other. Yeah, they, they really should. But for some odd reason, those two opposites just came in yeah. together. It was just an, it was just a perfect. I love that. You don't think the American. Uh one portrayed that well? Oh, yeah. I, I prefer the American okay. version of the first one. That's yeah. my favorite version. I'm sorry, Sweden. But <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, the other one is good, but I, 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 I just prefer, for whatever reason, that particular version, like, just gelled with me. And then there's the, the, the two movies that follow it. And I guess it's two books first, but the two movies that follow it, I think they lose a bit of the mystery. There is some interesting things that they make that will point out like she has sorry spoilers she has apparently a, a brother half brother from her dad who also has a unique ability which is if i remember correctly it was he didn't feel pain kick ass what's that kick ass basically or he, michael myers he was like a big brute who didn't feel pain but there was a character in this last movie in the spider web that also had a character who was similar so i was confused if that was supposed to be the brother because they just changed it for if they changed it or if that was still him because i don't remember if he died in the in the other ones i can't remember it's been a while since i've watched them but that was weird for me and none of the other movies including this one really had this deep mystery like the critics did say it was just an action flick and i kind of do agree with that part of it and there was no surprises it was just yeah her sister was alive but you kind of saw that coming that was that that's one great major gripe and i've and, I, and if you listen to this podcast at all you know that I, this is my biggest gripe the fucking trailer revealed that mm -hmm. like and it's like if i if i was just a normal movie goer going in and you know, I'm going to assume her sister's legit dead. Like if I haven't watched the trailer, but if you watch the trailer, the trailer shows her sister, like her sister, it's her sister. Mm -hmm. And I thought her sister was great. I didn't think, she, I don't think she played crazy like enough. I wanted more crazy out of her yeah, for was. being abused for those many years. And she's, but I loved her outfit. She was, she was just standing there. And, yeah. She was just standing there in all red. She's like the complete, like an, well, not complete opposite, but uh, opposite. Like she wanted to be seen, wanted to be noticed compared mm -hmm. to uh, listen. Yeah, Elizabeth. that's a good. That's a good. That's a great point. Like, please see me, even though all this bad stuff has been happening, mm -hmm. happening to me in private. I mean, see me for me, whatever. That was that's a good point. But I didn't. But just other than her, I liked her, but I didn't get enough of her. I wanted more. I wanted them to she pump did her not up. Do much. Honestly. No, I wanted her them to pump her up. You didn't get a whole lot of the dad either. You get the very very almost like sucker punch. Like the very beginning, you get a little bit of dad, then not enough. To really drive it home. Gosh, I know. Bad mouse. <laughs> Just didn't get enough of those characters in this stand. Like, if this was like a standalone, you wouldn't have gotten, you wouldn't have had enough character development to give to crap, except for the baby, the sister. Because at the end, that ending was great yeah. for me. That was probably the best part of the movie. Everything that happens before that, not so much. Because there wasn't any mystery. There wasn't anything that brought me into the, the story. I was just watching this character who's already been developed and defined for me, do all this stuff, but not really solve anything. You, you didn't think the, the addition... I don't know. The the character from the U.S. Yeah. was I loved him. Mm -hmm. I thought he was great. I liked how he was almost. He, I don't want to say she was. He was her equal. I don't think he was quite there. But he was. He was like a Vegeta. Yeah. He was trying to catch up the yeah. entire, and which was, was great. Perfect so, analogy. And he, was, and he that, uh, my, I have to give credit to that guy. He's uh, um, fantastic in the show Atlanta by Donald Glover. If you haven't seen that show, definitely check it out. Uh, it's great to see him branching out doing other things, but yeah, that's a perfect analogy for yeah. him. Um, and then, and then the guy with the magazine, one of the the other main characters in all the movies, mm -hmm. I thought he brought almost nothing. He's just a puppy dog who follows her around. Yes, he has good investigation skills and was able to figure out some stuff. But even his like like married girlfriend or whatever she was kind of pointed out that he's just obsessed and. It's it's whatever she wants, he does. So he's not even really like his own 
Sal itself. He was more so in the first movie, in the first movie or book, both both versions of the you know movie, but less so in these. He just seems like somebody follows. I kind of hate that they yunked him down. They made they they picked somebody who was almost neutral. Yeah, to me, he wasn't like Daniel Craig, and and the guy from the Swedish films. I thought, I'm sorry, guy, who I don't know, I can't remember your <laughs> name. I don't think you, he's an unattractive dude. He just, and which I think kind of fit what the character should be, because I don't think she's going to be attracted to some like attractive pretty boy. No, I think she's going to. That's the thing. Like they even even with Daniel Craig, they kind of he looked a little older. Like he mm-hmm. wasn't his normal buff from James Bond, Daniel Craig. You know? Right. So. But I think they picked this like almost in between average person that wasn't extraordinary for this movie to, to and, I, and again, sorry, dude, but I, you're not like you're gonna listen to this, but you just you just seem so like unimportant to me, and you just seem like filler. Yeah, it was all about her, and I think the person that they cast for for her was great. Yes, I think she did a tremendous job. She I did. just don't think she had a story or a mystery or anything. What, like, what sucks is I, th- I think, like you said, it's the fact that she. We're coming in expecting to know all this stuff about her. Mm -hmm. So they didn't give any like intrigue, I guess, you know? (laughs) Yeah, there was, yeah. But they they kind of set it up. I think, I guess their biggest reveal for this was the fact that she had a sister. Which yeah, was, I don't remember that in the other ones, and I could just be—I just missed it. But all I remember is the br- half brother who didn't feel. But I thought it was cool that this guy is giving birth to all these kids, have all these like special abilities, mm. and this particular daughter, if it's if this is. I'm assuming it's all the same series didn't really have a special ability other than she was just crazy. Yeah, or when she was crazy because he had molested her for all those years. Mm. I. I <laughs> I, I didn't know about that part. Uh, I mean, she kind of spoke about it, you know, a little bit in the Daniel Craig version. But I didn't know that, like, her sister was also molested, that he freaking put them in suction bags. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um, uh, the, the, what do you think about the, uh, the right hand man of the sister? I can't remember his name, but when it didn't feel pain, yeah, like I was confused by it. Oh, I know you, okay, that, you said you thought was, I didn't know if that was supposed to be the brother, yeah, or if that was just some other random dude who. And I'm assuming he didn't feel pain mm. in this movie because the way he because they were doing some damage to him, and he was just you know he yeah, was he taking didn't really it. Didn't care. Hmm. I did like the kid, I, and I normally don't like. I didn't think he was that kids ex- in this. exceptional. You, you really? No, I didn't think it could have been anybody. I, th- I like because I, th- I, I mean, think I'm he did a, a great job at playing, um, kind of like this. I'm glad they didn't Corey Feldman the character like pick somebody who's like over <laughs> like you know like little too old. <laughs> like, but is they just? <laughs> but no, because like he he played this. Uh, I guess they wrote it this way, but like where when his dad died. Normal kids would be bawling, crying, you know, but he's like this super, I, I'm supposed to move on because dad said, you know, X, Y, Z. Was, was he, think he was a sociopath? I think he was on his way to it. If he, if wasn't. he wasn't already? <laughs> uh, especially if he hangs around her, you know, because she's not the most stable person. Um, None of them were stable. Yeah, no, no. Uh, I didn't enjoy the opening to this movie. Um, with her, well, I guess the second scene of the movie with her hacking the, uh, what was it called? I don't fire something. Yeah. Something about the firewall, but, uh, I did. Yeah. And him like, you know, having to, once he realizes that it's being hacked, he tries to shut down the entire building just Uh to stop her. (laughs) Um, that was, I thought that was very cool. Uh, I didn't, I also enjoyed the, sadly, I didn't uh, the whole FBI involvement that was like you saw that coming a mile away <laughs> like every yeah there was that's what I'm saying there's no mystery there's no surprise yeah this one just gives it to you that's why they people were saying it's two action movie uh, like that, that makes sense now yeah but, and then even and there's a, there's a like these are just like I'm just picking at it now but there's like a scene where the the guy from the magazine is like sitting in the the van with somebody who thinks is part of the whole conspiracy yeah, the FBI lady. and then he tells her why do people keep making that same mistake <laughs> he's like you're in on it aren't you why would you tell that to somebody you know who could kill you and make you disappear yeah i mean but they do it they keep doing it over and over i hate that i was so mad when i saw that I'm like why are you why would you say that you're in the van with the person you think they're involved but you're going to tell them so they can kill you 
Nice. Good job. Go. <laughs> Way to go. Write a paper about that. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just too enthralled with Liz- you just like that girl. Yeah, because like she, she, her scene. I was, I was always waiting for her scenes. You know, mm-hmm. like because so that character is so intriguing to me. Um, I, f- I felt she was more intriguing in the first movie, though. I think that's the one. That's 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 the movie that people should be yeah. clamoring yeah. over because that was Daniel brilliant. Craig one? I prefer that one. Yeah, but either either one. Either one. Okay. I think. Uh, if you want to continue on the story, watching the other one doesn't hurt because I mean the actress is good. She doesn't bring to the table what I think the Swedish. The, the Swedish one doesn't bring to the table what I think the American movie, okay. American version of the movie brought, but still it was enjoyable. Not complete not a complete waste of time. And we love you, Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Uh, yeah, I, I, I like I was waiting with anticipation all these years later for continuations of that one. Cause I thought they did that yeah, perfectly, you know, they did it so well, but I don't know if the other movies, they could, the other two that are out, they could have those two books. They could have made movie versions of that in America and really make them work as well as the first one. Gotcha. Cause it's, it's a, it's a different story. It's like, you take this great character, these great characters, I'm sorry, great movie, great mystery. You want to continue on with it, but instead of doing that more, you, you're focusing on something else. And that's what they did with the, the next two movies or two books. It's like, you already established this character is great at this. So now let's make a movie. It just talks about the character instead of, you know, de- having them dive into a mystery. Mm. It's so, kind of what they did with this one. Like, yeah, and this it, is the fourth. I guess there is a, a book based off this one as well. So this is the fourth book in. So yeah, it's just more of that. They expect it? you to know the character by right now. And, they expect you to care more about the character than the mystery. And I think yeah. for me, even though the characters were amazing, it was the mystery that brought you in, and then being able to solve it and come together and solve that that makes me love that first book, first movie, both versions. So the, for me, yeah, this one just doesn't bring to the table what the first one did. So it's kind of a letdown because of that. Gotcha. Um, I'll tell you what, I do want a house like hers all rigged up and safe room. And safe room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cameras. I also want my own spot when I go to the club, my own little circle of window. Yeah. That was, I mean, she just walked right into that, didn't she? Power walk yeah, to it. That's mine. Don't even think about sitting there. Uh, um, so the big question is then, Go watch or not. I say, I say, I hate saying it, Uh-oh. but I'm going to say no. Oh my god! I don't goodness. think this one, even though everybody, the acting is, is, is for the most part superb, except for the writer from the magazine. Looks amazing. It, it, everything, everything's good. It looks amazing. It's visually stunning. There's nothing wrong with the technical. It's just the story didn't drive home for me. It just, it, and I think it's because the I think I blame it on the first movie in the first book because it's so good. I mean, I read. I mean, it's rare that I'll watch a movie and be so enthralled with the movie that I'll go buy the book and read it. <laughs> okay, that's rare for me. And I did this with this movie because it was so amazing. But then the next ones just don't. None of them drive home, like take me to the same place. I think the first one's the best one. I say watch Dragon Girl with the Dragon Tattoo over and over and over and over again, both versions because it's awesome. This one I could say you could pass on because I don't think it brings anything new to the table. I will respectfully disagree. Okay. I like say, that you disagree. I, I was gonna say like if if you I think if you've seen uh, the girl with the dragon tattoo, I think this one is is a good checkout. It, I I gotta agree with Robert saying you're not gonna get the same intrigue and mystery with this one, uh, but. Ten nuggets for a dollar. Come on. <laughs> Is that how you gonna end it? <laughs> you can't have a like that. Ten nuggets for a dollar, y'all. You can't have a commercial like that in front of me. <laughs> uh, but um but like I think it is a it's good to see I, I, I like to tune in on what character personally I like to tune in on what character is doing now like if I if I got a every so often a check in on what Sarah Connor has been doing or what you know like <laughs> I think if that, she's not saving the world then I don't care <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> uh, but yeah I, like we 
we're split down the middle on this one. <laughs> I think a watch or it says no. Nah. Uh, but he has seen and read the books. I have not. Uh, maybe that helps. Um, but maybe the book is better on this one. I don't know. I doubt it. That happens sometimes. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, because I, I don't think this is the original uh, writer as, as well. Author Probably as well. not. Yeah, oh, I, I, th- I think his son took over or something like that. Well. Um, not like father. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's the girl with the spiders in the spider's web. Um, she doesn't have a spider's web, she's with it. Motorcycle scene, I, we kind of skipped over that. Amazing, I thought that was cool. Like, there's so much good in it, but then, yeah, um, yeah, but I've seen motorcycle scenes before, but not one where she rides over ice over lake. Right? That, that was impressive. <laughs> But uh, I, I did I did find it weird that she has this bat cave set up in a old abandoned observatory because uh-huh. like I kind of think that place would be checked on sometimes. Okay, and unless she owned the building. Yeah, I guess she yeah, did she, know how to embezzle some money or get some money true. from she, wherever she, she wanted. She it. could, yeah, she lived a lifestyle. Hell, she didn't have to buy the movies. You could just hack and say, this is mine. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. She was I thought they made the hacking a little too easy, too. Yeah, her and that, and that. And granted, they're professionals and know what they're doing. They just seemed, they made, it made it look a little too easy. The first movie, once again, they explained some of it. He's got, she's got to set up this little thing on this, you know, whatever. And That movie was also three hours. <laughs> I have I, I have the time to watch something that good. <laughs> True, I, I I I'd rather waste three hours on a good movie than two hours on a bad one. Does that make sense? No, I, it does perfectly because I, I agree. I will. I I want longer movies. A lot of people hate seeing through longer movies. Mm-hmm. I want them. Like that's why I keep saying I'm still on the Peter Jackson needs to remake the Harry Potter movies because he can do it right. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, for seven hours. Oh God. <laughs> Seven hours, but it was worth it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd be like uh, Jeremiah after he got he laughed at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm. But anyway, we're not on subject there. Where can you find us? Uh, you can find us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Abandoned warehouses. Abandoned warehouses. <laughs> all under Go Watch a Movie. You search us on, on Google, search Go Watch a Movie podcast. Um, we're doing big chip things. I'm posting. Uh, trailers, posters, general news and information on all those sites. The Facebook desktop page, um, you can actually get to the podcast and the podcast tab on there. Um, Like, follow, share. We appreciate that so much. We appreciate all the listeners who've been listening and continue to listen um, because I hate my voice. I'm glad you guys can tolerate it. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, thank you so much. And kind of maybe go watch The Girl with the Spider's Web. (laughs) Uh, I'm Kelvin. And I'm Robert. Go watch a movie. (laughs) 